Good morning. What's going on? Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the other gang. What's going on? <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. What's up, Dennis Miranov? Hello, everyone. He says hello. Hello to you, my friend. Good to see you this morning. How are we all doing? Lunar Beaches Crypto. Up or down? He wants to know which way we're going to go. Yesterday we had a nice nice couple trade calls and today it looks like they, they, they started trading without us this morning. Okay, a little pump and dump. So we're going to get into that. We're also going to get into the bur building permits which came in positive today, which is pretty cool. Um, that's a good sign. I think it's a good sign. It should be a good sign. So let's jump into it. Hope you're all doing well. Up or down, they say. Up or down, and they want to know. So, like I said, we gave the call from here yesterday. The long. From here yesterday. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay. Get rid of this trend line. Hope you're all doing well this morning. Make sure to grab your coffee. Come and chill. We got market open in 45 minutes, but we're here. Preparing you for the open. Now, we were talking about this area up here. And how... It's a very, 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 very key, key level of uh, resistance. The key of resistance. So the market came up and it touched the key resistance. And it got the smack down. It got the smack down. So we will be looking for some more trades here. But very, very key level of resistance at 29,000. What's going on? Darren does things, man. DDT. Oh, we're getting a little bit of a dump ski right now. We're getting a little bit of a dump ski. Are the, are the markets pushing down to our levels here? Whew, let's see what we can catch. This morning, we're getting a red dot. Whew, look at this. Massive push down. We can see this already. Are we going to get a bounce from here? Let's see what we can find today. Hope you're all doing well. Red dot. Let's see what the 12 looks like. Double yellow X, continuation to the downside. Okay, very oversold right now. Massive push down. Came and touched the VWAP perfectly and got rejected. Okay, there's some things going on right now, man. We might be getting a push back down. We came up to this key level of resistance and got rejected. So let's see what we can find this morning, how we can look for a trade setup. One thing I can see here is that there might be a bullish divergence from this low to this low. Okay, you see that? A little bit of a bull div there wanting to push us up. But right now, momentum seems very strong to the downside, my friends. Very, very strong to the downside. Slam Banjo was up. Le smack. Le smack. <laughs> Le smack. The, like a button. <laughs> What's going on, man? Good to see you here. Shout out to you, my friend. So, what can we see? We're in this range. I pulled this range this morning. I was looking I'm like, okay, we got rejected from the top here. Are we going to look to go come up? What's all this garbage on my chart? Okay, so we know that there's key support below us here around 28,000. So, we're in we're in the 29 to 28,000 sandwich here, okay? So, we always like to draw sandwiches here and where we think price can come and bounce from, okay? Right now, massive rejection, okay? This is this is not just like a, a, a little Nambe Pambe rejection. This is a big rejection, okay? This is a good move, right? Good 2% move to the downside. I'd play that. Good to be here. <laughs> good to see you, Slam Banjo. So now it's looking to curl over, okay? Money flow is still in the green. We did get that push up, but a massive rejection here. Now... People are going to FOMO long somewhere down here. Are we going to look for a long? Of course we're going to look for a long. Look at the rejection we're getting right now. The holy smokes. This is pretty good. Pr pretty good price action for the morning. Smash that like button if you like price action. So we're getting the yellow continuation X here. So I said we can see a bull div here from this low to this high. But this isn't really done yet with us, is it? Is it? It's not fully done with us yet. This low to this high, you can see it here as well. Okay. Uh. Now we go into the nitty gritty. Can we see 
somewhere to to pop off along from here. Is this a is this a possibility? Okay, so we're coming down to key support here. We got a rejection once. Can we get a rejection twice? Okay, let's jump into the five minute. It's very flat. It doesn't look to me. Mm, you know what? It's hard to say right now whether we're gonna get a bounce from here or not. <coughs> 28,250 is a key level that we have. 28,250. Okay. Right now, the momentum seems to the downside. Massive rejection off the 29,000 price target. Okay. Right now, no trade for me. Unless we're, um, unless we're FOMOing into a short right now. The VWAP is above us. Okay. So we need to be very cautious here. There might be a long opportunity, but for me, I'm not prepared to take it just yet. Okay, I want to see some more price action. But everything's looking pretty red. Let's go over the heat map. Let's look at this. In the last four hours. Okay. Bitcoin dominance is up into the moon. Oh, yeah, Ben Cowan came out with a Bitcoin dominance. <laughs> a Bitcoin dominance <laughs> um, video already. 15 OB right here. Let's go. Let's see if we get that order block. That order block coming in. See, this is just such a dramatic move. To fight this downtrend is to ask to get stopped out. Um, unless you want to catch some knives this morning. We're going to go knife catching, slam banjo. We're going to go for that knife catching. I saw you guys in the Discord. You guys are always killing it in the Discord. You guys are killing it. Why? You guys clipped me so many times yesterday. I mean, this thing is great. Look at this. <laughs> What's good, man? Good to see you, DDT. Look at this. They clipped me, them, them guys. And they got me saying, I'll hit you with my schlong. We're going to have to make a... Uh, I'm going to have to take that audio clip and make it um <laughs> make it uh a sound bar, a sound note. I hit you with my schlong. I hit you with my schlong. My guys, you guys kill me. You guys kill me. Okay, we're getting a little bit of a bounce here. So for for now I'm waiting, okay? I don't I don't like this right now just because of how dramatic this downtrend is okay this to me is a lot of momentum to the downside so we're gonna do a top-down analysis um right now and hopefully we catch something before before it's too late before it's too late we got the massive wick up here and then the massive wick up here okay we had the key level of resistance pointed out to you guys <coughs> from yesterday so it shows you that the ta works um obviously i wasn't awake to catch that short that was that was a little bit too late for my liking. I was in bed by uh, 10 o'clock because I'm an old man. Okay? Had the M reversal. That is the best clip ever. Don't. He's scared. I know you want along. <laughs> you know I want along. You know I do. You know I do, but this is too... Nah, this is drama, man. Look at this. This is not... There's no market structure here. There's... This is nah. This is a nah. This is a nah for me. <laughs> I ain't scared. I, I want to trade, but... uh. So you see, the thing is, is that there's FOMO. So my mindset tells me that there is FOMO in the markets right now because of this massive 2% move we got overnight where people are sleeping mostly that they're going to wreck some people today. They're going to wreck some people today. Okay, now they've chopped sideways. We got Jerome speaking tomorrow. Okay. We go over the calendar here. We got building permits. This came in positive. Okay, so this is good news. 147 over 146. So this came in positive today. 
didn't affect the markets too much, but it but it's positive, okay? But then we got Pow Pow sp speaking tomorrow, so they're setting up for something. Who knows? But for me, right now, the FOMO is real, okay? The FOMO is real. I'm I'm only human. I want to trade this, okay, guys? But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna because it's it's. I just I'm like, you know, kid in a. It borders line on borders. It borders too much on gambling. Okay. I would like to see this come to a key level of support, somewhere down here. In order to continue upwards, let me see. Do I got? Okay, so I got a, a divergence here on the one hour too. So we got this, and we got this. Okay, so we can take this. See, don't ignore this wick, but we can take this divergence on the one hour. Okay, that's 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 nasty. Okay, that's nasty. That's called dump city, man. Dump dump city, man. Ten 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 twenties and fifties, man. Dump city, man. Dump dump city, man. Would I get copyrighted for saying dump city, man? Dump dump city, man. <laughs> They're about to wreck people, man. They want to grab all these. I mean, how many people do you think have FOMO'd in throughout here? So, we're going to have to see. There's a lot of liquidity down below. There's not. We know there's not a lot of liquidity up top here, guys, okay? It's pretty much a free ride, okay? 150 is a billion or million liquidations off of that wick okay okay so so right now we wait we wait and we be patient because we're disciplined daughters okay we're disciplined daughters yeah i would like to see it dip its toes even like 27 9 30 just like we got the wick here i would like to see that here that would be sexy. That would be the nice entry if we're going to continue upwards, okay? That would be the nice entry. But right now, you want to fight this thing? You want to fight this momentum to the downside? Look at this wick. Okay, this wick is saying, hey, I dare you. I dare you. Because if you want to mess around, <laughs> you're going to catch a slap, okay? Let's not join the direct party, the FOMO party. Jumping in, jumping in FOMOing. Free ride sounds like a long to me, yeah. Yeah, could be, could be. 150 million, yeah. Yeah, that's wild, okay. So let's go over here. Let's take a look at the top-down analysis. um, And let's see what we can see before market opens. Hopefully we get this out in half an hour. We'll get it out, we'll get it out. We're pretty quick with it, we're pretty quick with it, you know? Okay, so starting from yesterday, we're pretty much in the same spot, we're, we're, except we're coming down now, okay? So we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of, oh, I hate, they moved the object tree from down here up to here now, so it can never find it. Sorry, I'm just organizing quickly here. Whee! Okay. Take that view up off. Take that view up off. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch the charts on the left here. On the short term time frame. So if there's anything important, right now we're 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 double bottoming, okay? We're double bottoming and we're gonna pump up and we all went along, okay? That's where we're at right now. <laughs> um so going over to the five day here, um, same thing, crossover, bullish money flow in the green, okay. The five day is the bullish one of out of the lot. The weekly, same thing, crossover, bullish into the green, okay. Weekly looking looking strong, okay. Massive push. Obviously, this this looking good, right? This looking really good, real good, real good. Um, getting into the three day here. So this will print in the next. Uh, this will be the very interesting one to look at tomorrow's the three day, um, because because we got a we got a new candle coming, right? So we'll get some information about what this candle has done to the market on the market cipher, right? Whether it curls over, whether it it tells us that we, I would suggest it goes sideways, but look, we're getting a pump now. Well, maybe not, maybe not. I wouldn't fight it. Okay, so we can see we're in a clear uptrend moving our way up here. Massive, 
resistance here. Okay, so this is kind of where we're at. And as we dwindle in here, could we see this kind of rise in triangle pattern break to the outside upside? That would be very interesting to see, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I think y'all agree with me. Okay, I think y'all agree with me. So, let's go to the two-day. The two-day says that we have a new candle. So, this is interesting to see. So, massive push-up and flattening out. Okay, so flattening out is what we expected to see with Market Cipher. So, you can see flattening out, VWAP flattening out. Money flow is still in the red here, but it's very close to the zero line. So, that means it can cross over at any time. Okay, if we do get a push up here. But it does look like we're getting a little bit of a rejection here from the top of this 29,000. Okay, so that looks a lot more healthy, right? This wick up here to 29,000 that we talked about yesterday. And then the rejection down, okay? Where would we like to see price go? Okay, so let's go into the, the daily. We can see in the daily here that we have a little bit of posturing to the downside here. So a little, the massive momentum upwards, right, from the previous candle, previous two candles, and then curling over now, looking a little bit exhausted here on the daily. So we zoom in, we can simply see this is a rejection candle, right? Pushing to the downside, right? Coming up, getting rejected. Okay, so this looks a little bit bullish, but this one looks very bearish, okay? So mixed signals. But nonetheless, looking like it wants to retrace a little bit. Bear with me. So let's zoom out. Let's zoom out, my friends. Let's zoom out. Let's zoom out and see what we can see, right? Don't worry. Price is still bouncing around at the bottom there, looking to come down. We're, we're not in any business trading this right now, in my opinion. No business trading this right now. So we can see key level of, of resistance, eh? Can, can we see how important this is if we zoom out? Okay. We can see how important this is. Trading above here was very nice. Okay. It was very nice. It was, it was almost like, oh, we could, we could go to higher highs here. Okay. We pull this. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is more information. Okay. So we get some more information from this choppiness over here. And we can see that we have massive resistance above us, okay? Massive. But we also have massive support below us. So we're very much caught in the middle. And then we're also caught between this, this volume node where price can move quite rapidly if we do get a push up, okay? So for me, after this massive push up, I would like to see a little bit of a retrace. Not, not much. Like I said today, a little dip of the toes, right? And a continuation to the upside, okay? And flipping this area to support. That is that is what the bulls must do in order to continue their way up. They must flip it to support in order to continue upwards. Otherwise, we're coming back down into this dreaded range down here. And this range is right here. You pull from here to here. And you can see that we come back down and we at least test 27.5. Okay? We at least test it. Right? We have some support below us here at 27,000. Well, 28,000. Um, so that's, that's kind of how I'm looking at it right now. So overall, this is what I pull up. We can see we got the big, huge barrier here, the barrier reef, let's call it at 29,000. Okay. We're getting a little bit of a rejection right now. Where can we go from here? Well, our next level is the support in this range. And then we have to hold this 28,000 area. Okay. 20, 27,950. Okay. Um, and if not, then we're coming back down to retest this area here, okay, and see if we can bounce. And we're still in an uptrend, okay, which is very good to see. It's good to see that we put this high looks looks healthy. This high that we just put in looks healthy as well. So if we do see a retrace here, I think that looks healthy for a continuation to the upside, okay, overall. Now... Good morning, Toaster. What's going on, man? Get your pistols out. <laughs> massive. Massive. You guys, you guys killing me, man. You guys killing me yesterday. 
Look at you guys winning, man. Nick Musgrave taking the long trade. Nick Musgrave taking <laughs> taking my trade without doing his own. Felix taking the sc scalp. And we out here. <laughs> you guys kill me, man. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. Okay, so the daily looks like it wants to curl over here. Money flow is very healthy, though, so that's that's mixed messages. But you can see that the VWAP and the stochastic are both wanting to pull this down, okay? After such a massive pump, I would only expect this much, okay? This much to continue. To continue, my friends, to continue. So what can we see here? Let's get rid of this stuff. And we can see that, yes, there is support below us, but right now, we're looking for the retracement downwards, okay? That's what we're looking for right now. Massive rejection here from 29,000. Going over to the, to the 16. So we're be you can see the momentum wave after this massive push is now starting to curl over, okay? That's very key and indicative of what's coming next. Now, Darren does things. I think he just said that money flow is coming out aggressively. And wow, look at that. Look at how steep that is, okay? You can see money flow coming out. But it's very wavy. Look at how steep this one is, okay? Look at that compared to the others. And you can see how aggressively it is actually coming out. VWAP's coming to the zero line here. VWAP's coming to the zero line here. Pulling price downwards, okay? So this, to me, looks pretty ugly. Pretty ugly, okay? Pretty ugly. Yes, the momentum wave didn't get that high. But remember, the momentum wave is a continuation oscillator from the bottom to the top. So this move from here to here is actually quite large, okay? It's actually quite large versus something like this. Look how long this one is, okay? That one's long. Look how sharp this one is, straight up, okay? So you can see that this took its time before coming this way, right? There was a couple good drops here, but not not like we what we just experienced, okay? So this is a big move. We should see some cooling down now, okay? That's what I would like to see anyways for some healthy price action. We always relate and I always try to relate to what looks healthy, right? Healthy is is higher lows and higher highs, good market structure, right? If we get a spike straight up, that's unhealthy, right? So that creates divergences. That creates a whole bunch of things that we were talking about yesterday. How this is going to create some sort of divergence on price action, okay? Just because of how quickly this, this moved, right? So that gives us an opportunity for a trade because when there's a divergence, there's a higher likelihood of it going in the opposite direction of what you traded, right? So it's very, very crucial to, to catch these divergences all the way down to the beautiful short-term time frames. The market's still flat. It's still catching a lot of people FOMOing in short, my, in my opinion, right now. You can see. Gave some people some be beautiful, colorful diamond things on their charts, and it's like, Oh, throw in a short, throw in a short. I dare you, I dare you, right? Or or catch the long, catch the long. No trade, man, no trade. Too risque, <laughs> too risque. <laughs> okay, going over to the eight hour. My friends, we got we got 20 minutes until market opens. It's setting us up for something. It's setting us up for something. Okay, pump, pump and dump last night while we slept, while we slept. Long entry on Fumix twenty eight one one four. Oh, looking like a little bit of a pump ski here, my friends. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day already. It's beautiful morning. It's beautiful morning in a brisk, cold Canada. Okay, it's like ten degrees out. It's colder than it ever was in Australia. I tell you that much. <coughs> So going to the six hour, you can see that momentum wave starting to curl over. Now you can see the momentum wave is coming down. So we got some more information here. We got a bit of higher highs here. You can see the higher highs and the lower lows. Okay, so it's hard to to interpret the longer term time frames right now because of the wick. But you can see massive move up. So if we take this from here, that's where we got the actual wick that made sense. Okay, this is the wick that didn't make sense. So even from here, we can see that we do have a divergence on price, which is on the four hour, which is pushing us down. Damn, that's cold. Damn, that's cold. I love it. 
Hey, Melissa. Oh, my God, Melissa, how you doing? Much love. Good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Beautiful, beautiful Wednesday. How how you all doing? We we don't got we don't got the cowboy hat on like yesterday. Look what they made me do, Melissa. Look what these guys made me do. They got me all giddy up cowboy style here. I'm I'm a, I'm from the city. Like I ain't I ain't country at all. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Thank you for dropping by and saying hello. A lot of you guys are voting here, and you guys you're saying you're trading with ten thousand dollars in mittens on. Are you guys going to go make me get the mittens and, and start pressing buy and sell? Or are you guys trading with $500 in bike gloves? You know those, like, old man webbed? They're, like, they're like laced, laced bike gloves that you used to wear back in the 90s, like you were cool? <laughs> $1,000. And, by the way, Mrs. Otter's podcast is amazing. She puts a lot of work into it. I tell you that much. She is, um, Mrs. Otter is a writer and, and, and an editor on Fiverr. Um, so she's always been an, a writer and she reads a lot. So she, she started her podcast. She's like, you can't tell anybody until I get to a thousand. So Mrs. Otter got to 970 or 80 or whatever. And then we dropped the bomb, um, trying to get her to a thousand subscribers. And she's at like a thousand and twenty now. Which is awesome because I know you guys are, are a big part of that, getting her over the hump there. So I'm very grateful to every single one of you guys. But yeah, she puts in a ton of work. Not only does she take care of me, but she puts in a ton of work. And what she does is she condenses podcasts. So like all those podcasts that you want to listen to on like Tom Bilyeu and Jay Shetty and all those people. But you don't got three hours to listen to the damn thing. She condenses that. Um and then she obviously does some mindset stuff and you know, she's a superstar man i'm very i'm very lucky i'm very lucky i just click buy and sell when the market goes up and the market comes down i click buy and i click sell and i give it all away for free her on the other hand she's she's special i'm uh i'm very grateful i'm very grateful so she's in spain right now so i'm very <laughs> jealous as well her mom's 60th she just went to spain Okay, we're getting a red dot confirmation here on this three hour. So, yeah. No, she's very grateful to have you as a subscriber. She was even thanking everybody yesterday on her channel for getting her over the hump. And, yeah, sh she works really hard on it. So thank you for supporting her. And I guess that's s subliminally, well, not subliminally, but, but supporting me as well because she's, she's Mrs. Otter, you know? She kills it. Maybe she'll come and say actually hi instead of waving her hand. Because she should. She, she will when she's back. I'll, I'll, I'll get her to. She's a bit camera shy. She's not all keen on the lives. Okay, flipping into the two hour. Oof. Nasty. Nasty. Okay, we're chopping here sideways. We're chopping sideways. Massive wick up. The two hour divergence like we were talking about this morning. Okay, on the price action, you can see higher highs and lower lows. Okay, so that's something we're aware of here. We can't just continue straight up, okay? We can't. <laughs> but we will, okay? Um, The four-hour, yeah, divergence as well. We can draw some support here. We can see that there is some sort of support here, but mm, it's hard to say. It's hard to say for me. I don't want I don't want to give you guys a falsehood, but if we are going to take a trade today, it's going to be somewhere down here on where we can grab some liquidity. I'm trying to be more safe today because tomorrow Jerome Powell is going to dump it on her ass or, or pump it on her ass. Um, so Jerome Powell, Powell speaks tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Okay, so 12 o'clock. Maybe we can live stream the, the speech if it's available. Is it available to, to live stream it? I'm not sure if we, could, um, if we could live stream it. One thing I did notice the other day, too. Um, is on true inflation. I saw a massive dip in inflation here. So I was looking at this and I was like, oh man, look at that. We were up at two point well what were we up at? Two point six and we dropped all the way down to two point two. That's pretty interesting in my opinion. That's pretty interesting. Massive drop in because with true inflation, 
it's a little bit low. It's quite lower than actual inflation rate. But the Canadian economy yesterday, we went from 4% to 3.8%. So it looks like this hiking may be coming into effect over the long term right now. So this is, we're probably getting a little bit of that effect, but we'll watch to see if anything breaks along the way because that's, uh, that's the thing is that as, as we come out of this, things are going to break in my opinion. Um, so 92% no hike. December, this was at 40%. Yeah, so they're very much the same here. So nothing on that front. What do we got for news? Let's take a look at the news. Um, people are extra bullish on XRP, Cardano's current consolidation could end in a massive price rally to $6, huh? S Solana's impressive recovery since FTX, okay? Did Ripple just dump 75 million? Okay. A flight to quality. Yeah, so that's that's the Larry Fink thing. So some interesting things here. Cryptopanic.com. I, I, I actually really like this website because it's just plain and simple. So I'm not a news guy, but but you know the news. The news can move the markets, baby. So let's look at the TA now. So we're jumping into the, the 30. So we can see that we're actually quite oversold here. Okay, we're quite oversold here. But for me, this candle is what's deterred me from getting into a trade right now. Okay, it's very much uh, bearish engulfing of the whole damn thing. So for me, that's what's really keeping me out. Crypto panic is fun, yeah, for sure. Got out of my long price isn't ready. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Powell's speech have an impact on the market unless it was specifically FOMC speech. Okay. Yeah, he, he, they just hold the puppet strings up, and he kind of does one of these. All right. Well, it looks like the um, market is stabling. And, and okay, that was my drone pow. Pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your script. Go read it. One coffee down, one to go. Uh, okay, so we got 20 minutes until market opens. So let's take a look at the S&P, what happened yesterday. Ooh. So we got denied of what we thought was going to happen yesterday with the S&P, okay? So, <laughs> oh, man. So we thought, we thought, we thought that, that we'd come down and take out this, this gap here. There's still a gap here, okay? There's still a gap here. So could we see this trickle down? Take out this, okay? We actually rose up quite nice and took out this gap up here. Okay, so very nice. We're chopping sideways. That's something that's good in my opinion with the S and P because if we are chopping sideways, we go to the one hour. If we're because we've moved up and we're chopping sideways, that means we're we're loading up for a spring. The spring is coiling in here. Okay, we're seeing the coiling and the the kaboom is r waiting to happen. Okay. So for me, that's, that's not a bad sign that markets are still healthy, okay? Also, let's go over to, let's close this. Let's go over to the ES. <coughs> so the ES is down a little bit, but not, not too much, okay? We're still trading above what the S&P is right now. So that, that, that looks all right. That looks all right. Now the Dixie's chopping in between this sandwich that we were talking about as well. So the Dixie, we're, we've talked about this for the whole time is that we're trying to see if we can get a reversal. This to me is looking like a little bit of a head and shoulders, which is quite interesting. Okay, there's your head and shoulders. Could this play to the downside? If we get a b massive dump here on the Dixie, that could mean a big pump for the rest of everything else because it's an inverse correlation, okay? So very interesting there good morning g corp how are you doing man how's it going have you booked your trip yet man have you booked your trip do you know where you're going are you just gonna stay in the apple orchard forever man hope you're doing well my friend hope you're doing well so yeah it looks like we can continue to cool off here on the dixie which means upside but the s p does have that little bit of a gap below here that it could fill around forty-three thousand before heading up 
But the chop sideways is healthy in my opinion. Right? We had a nice retrace here. So interesting to see how that could affect the price over here. Hope you're doing well, my friends. So oh, we're getting a little bit of a push up here. VMAs are coming down on our head. Okay, we got the 200. The 200 coming across, okay? A lot of bearish momentum here, okay? Very oversold, but not looking like it has much strength to the upside. I could be wrong here. Volume is low. Look at the volume that came in to dump this on our ass. Oh, man. And that's at 6 a.m., okay? So, yeah, big bear flag. So, this could be a reversal pattern. But right now, it's no no bueno for me. No trade for me. No trade for me. I'm just waiting. I would like to see it come below this trend line. I'd like to see it come down and grab at least some of these guys down here. Okay? Such an aggressive move overnight, man. Such an aggressive move. We called the beautiful 29,000, though. Look at this. Right to, right to our resistance line. Not exactly to where... This box is, but right to our line, okay? So that's very good to see that the TA is working, okay? The TA is working. <laughs> Make sure that the TA is working. Okay, so we're going to be patient here. I'm going to wait for any trade setups. If there's any alts or anything you guys would like me to look at, I'd be glad to do so. How are we all doing? I have a question. What is the difference between EMA and MA? So let's look into it. EMA. Definition. So the EMA is a technical indi indicator used in trading practices to show the asset or security charts over a certain period of time. It's different from the SMA in that pl places more weight on recent data, i.e. price, recent prices. So if I use the EMA because I find it more smooth. That's mostly why I use it. So there is a good indicator. I think it's the crown EMAs. But you have moving averages and EMAs. So I don't, I've never used SMAs, but the EMA I find is more exactly with the price. You can see it's very, it moves quickly with the price, right? And then with this moving average, the 200 here. I like to keep the 200 because that's if we're above the 200, it tells me that we should be in longs, right? Um, if we're below it, then it tells me I should be in shorts. It's kind of like, for me, I just use it as a guide, mostly, depending on what time frame I'm on. If I'm on like the daily, it's more of, more of which way is the trend. So the EMA is moving up. The 200 is holding us down. So you can see, if I, if I get rid of all this stuff, look at how well on the daily, the 200 moving average has held us down, okay? Now that we're above it, we're looking for longs, right? So it took quite a bit to push above it, right? But you can see throughout the this, it tells me I'm in longs here. I'm in longs here. I'm in longs. For for someone who's who's swinging, that's, that's what it's telling me. It, it tells me the trend. Then with the EMAs, the EMAs are more directed with the price, so they're they're more current, and they also let me know trend. And then you can look for crossovers, right? So when you get crossovers, you can trade just simple crossovers here. When the 55, the 21, and the nine, okay, 55, 21, and nine. So when I get the 55 crossing over these two, that's when I look for shorts, right? 55 crossing over these two, that's when I look for longs, right? And vice versa, right? So there's opportunities when you get crossovers. Also, what I like to use them for is on the shorter term time frames, I enjoy using them for, um, for support and resistance. So if I go to 30, and it's all relevant to the time frame that you're on, Melissa. So on the 30, you can see Look at the support you get. There's a long, there's a long, there's a long, there's a long, okay? It acts as support or resistance, right? So we're in, we're in an uptrend, support and resistance, right? Now we're in a downtrend, so this is a possible short, right? It's, 
moved dramatically through it. Now we're coming back up to retest it. So it's just more recent. It's more, it's more up to date with what's going on in the immediate price action. Okay. I hope that helps how I use it. I hope that helps how I use it. Okay, let's pull up EMA versus SMA. So look, EMA versus SMA. The EMA is more sensitive to price movement tur turning up before the SMA. So you can see the EMA here is the blue line. EMA is the blue line. SMA is smooth moving average, right? So you can see it's more sensitive to price. More sensitive, more sensitive, where smooth SMA is more even. So this is very trend-based, whereas the EMA can, can react more dramatically to price. Okay, that's very good. That's a good explanation. I hope that helps. We got four minutes. We got four minutes. It calculates the average by summing up a set of numbers of data points and dividing by that number of data points. EMA gives more weight to recent data points, making it more responsive to recent price changes. See? That's why we keep you around, Mr. Mr. Lunar, Lunar Beaches Crypto here. It uses a formula that assigns exponentially decreasing weights. Oh, okay, that's... I'm more of an SMA guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Don't EMA me. <laughs> it's just a tool. So it's just a tool to help identify trend, in my opinion, and support and resistance. It's, it's something to add confluence, right? To me, the volume, VWAP, volume, VWAP, and EMA, volume profiles, Fibonacci, and market cipher and that's like overboard right if i got confluence between three out of five of those i'm laughing okay i'm laughing it's all confluence i would say for me because i'm a short-term trader i love vwap vwap is like my best friend volume weighted average price right so you can see when we go into vwap it's respected look at this bang bang on most time frames, okay? VWAP is, is king. But the crossovers are something nice. They're nice to see. Continuation of trend, right? Look at this. Getting rejected as well. So I'll, fl I'll, I'll pop them up every now and then just to get an idea. But they're, I think the EMA and the moving average is kind of a greater outlook on on price, okay? It's not... I, I prefer VWAP in volume. VWAP and volume tell me a lot more, right? That's why we didn't get into the long this morning. Look at the, we get rejected off the VWAP. Yes, we can come back up here to the point of control, right? That's a possible trade setup this morning. But look at the volume. Pushed up, rejected, massive volume to push us back down. Volume, 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 cools right off into market open. Now we're, 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 we're trapping people. People are FOMOing in because they, they see the massive move right now. Right? They're like, man, I missed the trade. But we're disciplined here, right? We're disciplined here. If we're going to see something, we, we want to see one more leg here and then the bounce. Or we want to see a retrace up. So let's pull a fib from the top of here to the bottom of here. Look at that. Ooh, look at that confluence, right? So then we got a little bit of a level here that we can look to trade. And with these continuations of downtrends or continuation of uptrends, I always go to the 786, okay? Always to the 786 to give me a broader idea. And then I don't trade it when it just gets to it, okay? If we pump back up here, I wait for a confirmation divergence where we can look for a trade setup, okay? VWAP is way more effective. Yeah, so VWAP Volume weighted average price is the way to go. Because VWAP is real time data, yes. Because it resets every day. It resets, right? The reset 
is is what makes the view up so effective in my opinion right let's get rid of this wait let's mark out our point of control we don't have it marked out here actually that's a local point of control alex that's a local point of control so let's make sure that we are being correct with our jargon here i press buy and sell man that's about it then we got a golden pocket right here as well for the continuation and then we we can pull the range golden pocket which is way up here that's basically at the at the top of this so we'll mark out this as a key level as well of interest Okay, looking like it's getting a little bit of a push-up market has opened. S&P is opening up a little bit low right now. So let's see what happens with the market. Let's make sure that we're prepared. Okay, a little bit of gap to the upside. What are we looking for today? We're looking for the S&P to crawl down a little bit, fill up this little gap below us, and then continue its way upwards. Okay, we're looking for something like this. The Dixie, we're also looking for a push back here. So we look for the push back. On the Dixie, a little bit of a retrace up and then a continuation downwards, con maybe printing this head and shoulders pattern. Okay, so we're, we're watching for that. This doesn't have to go straight up yet. It can go like this. So we're watching for that. Market's opened here. We're very much stalling out. Okay, we're very much stalling out. Going to the five minute. Let's see if we can catch anything here. Have some fun, Alex. Set your view up session setting to weekly. Oh. Uh, uh. No, we're not doing that. We'll do that. We'll, we'll do that on our own, on our own time, man. We'll do that on our own time. You're gonna get me. You're gonna get me wrecked, man. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well, man. Thank you guys for coming through and smashing up that like button, supporting this channel. You guys are great. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Every single one of you. It's incredible. It's incredible. Make sure to go follow Lunar Beaches Crypto Sunday Swim School. We're going to have a chat later on today, right? Mr. David David, the man. We'll just call you the, the man. How about that? Um, the man. Sounds good to me. I will be free later on this evening. <laughs> oh, man. This is, um, this is ugly. This is ugly right now. Why so serious? <laughs> I ain't serious, man. I ain't serious. Rub my Buddha. You want to rub my Buddha? My little cousin got me a Buddha. Why does my charger keep acting up, man? We're going to have words, Mr. Mister Charger here. The control center. I nine baby, Nvidia four forty seventy baby. Let's go. We got we got an engine here. Engine engine number one. Okay, I need. Where's my tech? Where's Schaefer, man? Where's my technical support? Let me turn this up. We don't have our blue lights on right now. Where's the battery setting? Shut up. <laughs> custom recommended we'll go to recommended okay we're going to recommend it stop yelling at me man stop yelling at me recommended <laughs> rubbing the buddha we're rubbing the buddha good luck today guys you want to rub the buddha here rub the buddha guys he's smiling do you guys have like do you guys have like things on your desk that are lucky? I got a I got a triangle from Bali. How do you do you guys like my triangle? It's a it's a beautiful triangle. Look, we're getting a pump, baby. Oh, never mind the triangle. Let's go. We're getting the pump, guys. Whew. We're getting the pump.
stuck in the middle with you. S&P. S&P is pumping. S&P is pumping. Let's go, S&P. Bitcoin dominance is through the roof. Bitcoin dominance is through the roof. CME. Did we get any CME gaps over the weekend? Uh, no. We're pushing back, man. We're pushing back. So typically, we like to see these take. I'm looking for the continuation here to the downside, okay? If if we come up to this area here. If we come up to this area, we look for confirmations. 28, 28, 4, 3, 6. Otherwise, we're going to let it roll over and, and dump on our ass, okay? No trade. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I rubbed it and it sent to the beginning of the stream. Dave Digital with the dance moves. What's going on, brother? Hope you're doing well. Much love to you. Much love to you, Dave Digital in the chat. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. So I'd like to see price work its way up here. Even though we did get a little wick to the upside here. We we got a little bit of a fake out here. It's pushing back price. Okay, it's pushing back price. To me, this looks very bearish here after the massive rejection up top. We're trying to curl back up here on the shorter term time frames. Yeah, we're pretty oversold. Money flow is creeping out quite quickly here on the one hour. Two hours looking for that nice curvature to the downside. We could get a little bit of a retracement here, but right now there's no trade in my opinion. Just waiting and seeing what the price will give us. The trade setup is as follows. Um, if we do come up, we'll look for something like this. We'll send that to the free Discord. So make sure to join us in the Discord. We out here smoking guns, okay? Oh, wah, wah, wah. All right. We always sharing. Wah, wah, wah. This is us right now. I. This is. We bought in, right? We're we're all doing well. We bought in at the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh man. Okay, quick quick up. Getting people wrecked. Getting people wrecked. What's the short from down here? Should we move this? Rolling over. We're rolling over, man. We're rolling over. Bitcoin's price would like to come down here to the value area low, in my opinion. We do have a nice, beautiful little bit of gap of volume here. We could see the quick and swift move to grab liquidity and then pop off. Okay. So we wait down here. Our trade setup would be as follows. This would be more of a swingy-wingy trade. A swingy-wingy. I don't know if you'd call it that. We'll call it that. And come back up. We are looking at this bearish divergence on the longer term time frames. From high to high to low to low. Okay, That's something we're aware of here. So this is quite a dramatic move right now. A little bit of a chop sideways. We did get some positive news here this morning. On the building permits coming in positive. So... Not having a giant effect on the market, but we can see that the S and P is opened up below. Yeah, we're getting that move up from the Dixie, so that could be pushing price down right now. Very chopped sideways, so we're gonna have to be patient here. Preservation of capital, baby. Preservation of capital. That's where we're at. S swinging weenie. <laughs> you guys got you guys trying to get me to say. Where's your cowboy hat? <laughs> I don't have a cowboy hat today. We got um we got a trucker hat. We got a trucker hat. We got a whole box of hats somewhere. You want me to all right.
I'm not lying. I'm not lying when I say we got a box of hats, okay? All right. This is, we're doing this for you guys, okay? We're missing the trade because of you guys. We got a whole box. I don't know if you guys can see it. What's in the box? What is in the box? Is the, mic, is the mic volume loud enough, guys? Do I need to turn it up a little bit? We're getting dumped on right now. What's in the box? Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> you all right? Where are you from? I'm from London, you posh biatch. I'm from bloody London. More volume. Turn up the volume. I turned it up. Hello, you all right? I bought a bottle of water. A bottle of water. Hello. Okay. Why why don't the British pronounce the T's in their words like bottle of water? Because they bloody drank it all. They bloody drank it all. <laughs> what else do we got? Motion. We got motion. I don't know where, what is, this is classic stuff, man. All right, we, we got trucker hats. How many trucker hats do we have? Oh, my God. This one's still got sawdust on it. We got an old school Budweiser hat with sawdust on it. I like Quebec. Eh, Francais? I love Quebec. Mais oui. We're going to keep the bottle of water on. All right, Londoner. I don't know what's in here. This is what happens when you go through your grandparents' hat collection. Nothing in here. This is never ending. We got Miami Vice. <laughs> Hawaii or Miami Vice? Hawaii. This is awesome. This is like a treasure trove, man. Alaska Highway? What? Fort Nelson. Heritage. Oh, I think I found a good one. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Are you guy? Are you guys ready for this? You guys you guys not even gonna be able to handle this, man. Are you ready? We we we're dumping on Bitcoin, by the way. All right. Who's the captain? Who's the Who's the captain? I'm the captain. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard. <laughs> oh man, this is how I'm doing TA from now on, my friends. <laughs> All aboard. All right, everybody. Otter gang here. You got the mouth of a sailor. Holy fuck, boys. We're getting a dump. Captain Bitcoin. yippee ki -yay. I didn't even know there was so much treasure in that box over. Dude, you're nuts. 
<laughs> I am. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we can dump on, man. We can dump on. Who's grabbing this long? Are we going to grab a long? Oof. Darren does sing, sing some George Clooney looking ass. I'll take that any day, man. I'll take that any day. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How about we go with the farm equipment? It's got a fucking... It's got a pom pom on it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. You don't like my captain hat? You don't like. Hey, Hannah King, what's going on? We're trying on all different hats. I'm a man of all, all different hats. <laughs> 